What's up everybody, back with another video. We're at Boulder Station and we're about to play crop. We got $20 going in. And today what we're gonna be doing is an iron cross with a martingale hedge. So we're gonna see where we're at. All right, looks like we're on a good roll. Let's get in here. All right, so we got $20 in and we're gonna go five. Six, eight, bets on, one on the field, and then we're gonna go one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, all right, there's that. All right, so we gotta get that up a little bit, but. All right, so we won the field. All right, so we have 150 out there plus the field 175. So we want to get this up to 175. So that if uh, the bad number comes, then that's going to be our hedge, and we're going to recoup all of our or close to all of our units because we get paid a little less than one to one when we lay. Let's get the dice up here for you guys. All right, there we go. So you'll see. So we get 110 back. We're at 1960. We're going to put them back up. Put the bets on. And we're going to increase that a little bit because that wasn't as much as I thought. So, you know, we're going to go with a $2 hedge on that. And you don't necessarily have to fully martingale that. You can just keep the units the same and keep track of them, or you can double or, you know, do as you see fit. But most of the time, you end up recouping a good, a good amount of the units through hits. All right. So now we're going to make sure we got the field on all the time. Replace that. All right, let's go. All right, another one. We'll probably play the system for about 15 minutes or so and There we go. We'll play it for about 15 minutes or so just so I can show you and demonstrate how it works. And then uh, you guys can let me know if you like it or not. 1704. Oh, we got the field. Don't forget that. And with this system, you got to keep remembering to put all your bets up. All right. So we'll take that. Let's see where we're at. All right. We start with 20. So now, as you can see, even though we're going to get paid a little less than one to one on that, or I should say, um, you know, a decent amount less, I think it's like 140 we're going to get paid for that $2, the wins that we get on the numbers that we are covering are going to more than make up for it. So you can adjust accordingly. And remember to place the field. Sorry if I'm a little quiet. I just woke up. It's early morning here. It's a Friday in Las Vegas. It's sunny. It's beautiful. But just had my coffee, so hopefully I'll be waking up soon. And while I'm on the subject of playing early, um, lately I've been noticing that more of my winning sessions, I play a lot better in the morning than I do at night. I think more clear. Um, I don't make bad decisions, I stick to plans. Um, when I play at night and I'm tired, I tend to deviate, I do random things, so um, something you may want to observe in yourself when you're playing is when you play your best. Alright. And if you wanted to, because we're up a decent amount of units, what you could do is drop the hedge accordingly too if you wanted to mitigate some risk, but we're just going to stick with it and oh, replace the field. We're going to stick to the basic premise for this for about 15 minutes or so. And then I may make another video where I deviate a little bit. And replace the field once again. I'm also trying to film a different way. I keep getting copyright, not strikes, but uh, 
some sort of copyright things on my videos for some reason, and they happen to be on all my good videos from Boulder Station, so. Oh, there we go, we got the seven. All right, so as you can see, we got that. That's our hedge, 126 for the $2, so we're at 22.13, and we're just gonna simply rinse and repeat. And we're gonna keep the bets on. And now if you were to up the amount to like $3 on your hedge, then I mean you'd literally be winning every hand, assuming that you martingaled if your number showed up. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit back. And once again, rinse and repeat. All right, so we're gonna replace our bets. I guess rather than replacing them individually, it's a lot easier to just hit that repeat bet button, so. Note to self, we're gonna do that from now on. All right, we love when the floor hits. We actually love it when all the numbers hit with the system, so. Even when the bad number shows up, I don't mind. I'd prefer the roll to go on forever, but unfortunately that's not the way the game works. All right, back to back fours. Look at that, a bunch of fives and fours. We don't mind that at all. And keep forgetting to replace. Make sure to replace. All right, so we got 375 out there. We're at 1943, start of a 20. Another four, look, this is unreal. All right, we're good. Man, look at this. Five, four, four, five, four. Let's guess the pattern, right? So according to this, it should be another four. All right, we don't mind that. Replace the field. But yeah, the system seems to be pretty consistent, low volatility. It's kind of a grinder system, but you're picking up units. I'm gonna start to experiment a lot of different ways with this. I kind of like it, so let me know what you guys think. So we're gonna end that round, 23-27. All right, and we're gonna reset. And now if you wanted to, you could up your uh, hedge if you want, just to try to make up some units from that loss, but there's no need to since we're up. Just gonna keep grinding. Now the 12 is really what we like to hit because that pays triple on our field bet. So that's a great bonus. A lot of places that only pays um, double. All right, so we're gonna have to replace our hedge. And you know what, we're only gonna up it by 150. We're not gonna do, actually, you know what, for the, well, we missed it. So we're gonna go with 150. All right, there we go. 
Wish we had uh, gotten our extra bet on there, but that's gonna leave us up still. So we should have went to $2 on that, but it timed out. All right, so we're gonna go back, repeat, bring this back down to two. Turn the bets on, rinse and repeat. And if you want a good sweat or you have the stomach to handle it, then uh, you know you can make sure you're always winning by increasing um, your hedge martingaling it so that you're always gaining a unit if you lose. You could probably go pretty deep in that scenario, but you could do it. The other way you could do this is you could um, divide up the hedges amongst the 10, the nine, and the four if you go too deep. But if you do that, you're gonna hope that the bad number shows up. Because if it starts hitting those numbers, it's not good. All right, picking up units. So let's see. All right, so we're back at 2248. I'm gonna repeat that. And because we're winning, we're gonna add a quarter to that. That way, if we hit that, we break even around, right around even. All right, we'll take it. And now another way you could do this is you could press with all your wins. You could keep adding them here, but you need to increase your hedge too if you want to keep the system consistent. So another way you could play with it. That's a good one. Let's go. All right, let's get the two or the 12. No, man, we got the Kino machines running next to us. We don't have to worry about any copyright complaints now. All right. That four and that five is really hot. It'd be a good time to be parlaying your bets on those two numbers right now. All right, so let's pull it down just so we can see. 2345, put them back out there. And once again, this is just an iron cross with a hedge. Another four, man, what's going on here? I think I'm gonna have to stop this video and start playing a five and four video. The five four parlay. All right, so all our bets are good. 1970 up top, we're in for 20. And I know I keep saying it, but don't forget about that field bit. It tends to clear and it gets sneaky, it gets away from you. And then all of a sudden you hit your number, you hit a two or a 12 and you're like, wait a minute, why am I not getting paid? All right, 1995 up top. Once again, Place the field. After replacing the field, 2028. 20, Rinse and repeat. All right. And I'm sure you figured it out by now, but the name of the game is avoid the nine. And if it does come, double or more than double. We got we're 20 in, we got 20.61. We got $4 on the bets. So we're free rolling.
All right, all the bets are out. All right, there's that number we don't like to see, but in our case, it's not a bad number. And that's where the magic happens, 24.53. Let's go, do it again. We'll go one more round, and then uh, I think you guys understand the point that I'm trying to illustrate, so. Um, you can incorporate this into your play if you'd like. You can change it, mess around with it. You can laugh at me. Um, you know, it's all in the name of having fun and experimenting. So I hope you guys get something out of it. But at the end of the day, it's all entertainment. So I hope you enjoy. Look at that. We like that. We finally got that too. Make sure the bets are on. And now that we're up, I'm going to drop this hedge down because there's no need to, I mean, I'm dropping it down a little bit, but once again, I'm just trying to mitigate the risk. Because we're up, I'm trying to decrease the volatility. All right, picking up more units. Oh, don't forget the field or the five. I don't think I forgot him last round. No, it hit, so it cleared. All right, we're good. Oh, there's the dreaded... Uh... Oh, actually, no, we want that number. Sorry, we're playing the nine. It gave me a heart attack for a second. I was getting ready to Martindale. It's probably going to go up to $6. All right, let's go. 22.08. 3.75. Let's get a, f a few more units, and then uh, if that bad number comes, we won't be so disappointed. All right. Make sure bets are on. Replace. Let's take them down. So we're in for 20. We're at 26.30 total. Once we replace the bets, we got 3.75 out there. 22.55 up top. All the bets are placed, all the bets are on, let's go. Six, winning number. All right, replace so we get the field. 2288, 375. I don't know how many rounds we're in, but I want to say we're probably like seven rounds in or so. 18 minutes into the video. We'll try to stop it around 20, 20 minutes in. Ooh, that's the good one we were looking for. That pays triple. That's the one. All right, so now if we clear, 2738. Put them back on, 375, 2363. Let's go. Picking up units. It's like a vacuum cleaner. Those were some rolling stones. All right, let's go. Bent on, replace. And another thing to notice is that I'm buying them with $20, which is less than 100 units. And as you can see, you know, we didn't really go down too much. So um, if you're making, if you're looking to play with a, sh a small amount of money and make it stretch or give yourself a decent chance of winning, um, this may be something you want to consider. There really is no one way to play. You 
play however you want based on your playing style and what you like for risk. But all right, there we go. We got the uh, we got the seven, so that's gonna pay us. And now we're gonna stop there. We're gonna see where we're at. So we're in for twenty. We're out twenty-seven seventy-two. And that was the Iron Cross with a hedge on the nine. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time.